15th, 2020. How you guys doing? How you living? How you feeling, y'all? I know it's been a while. Don't hate me. I love you guys. I really, really do. Um, but, you know, there's no excuses. Let's just cut the excuses. Let's just cut the excuses. It's a new day. And um, I'm coming at you guys with another vlog. Um, I don't know when the next one's going to come. not going to lie to you. But um, if you guys miss seeing this face, <laughs> then head over to my other channel. Um, I've been trying to upload uh, weekly over there. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are safe. Um, I have been uh, mostly working from home. And we'll talk about my work situation later on in the vlog. Um, but for right now, I work as a full-time nursing professor and a part-time PRN as needed um, clinical ICU nurse. So we'll talk about that a little bit later, but for right now, your girl is hungry. So I have to take out the dog and then uh, make myself some breakfast. Good morning, baby. I know. I know. Good morning. Let's go outside. some scrambled eggs we have some leftover biscuits so I might do that and then some potatoes and some fruit <laughs> so this is my breakfast right here got some scrambled eggs and cheese potatoes over there I'm vlogging <laughs> I'm vlogging Eggs, potatoes, biscuit, honey, and butter, and then oh, a thing of fruit. I'm vlogging. You're vlogging? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I can't come and see my beautiful girl. Mm, that looks good, baby. Hey, book. Say hey, book. Say hey. See, mm -hmm. I want to share some teal. Some berries with a little bit of honey drizzled on <laughs> Susan says, hello, I'm on question 39 of 36 to place ABG process in order. It will not let me move or submit an answer. So my students are actually taking their final right now and it looks like one student is having an issue with the question, but that's the only student that emailed about that question. So I don't know if it's just her. So my student's ending for me. I have been teaching online. That's the identifying characteristics of glaucoma mm -hmm. in terms of what the patient can see. I mean, all of my meetings have been online. Um, office hours, all of that has been online. Um, by the way, this is a balloon that I got from Joshua for um, Nurses Week. And it has like a box of candy attached to it. So because they're taking the final right now, I just need to make myself available just in case they have any issues. So I'm actually going to fold some laundry, keeping my email open um, and my office open just in case they want to ask any questions. Actually, my co-teacher just texted me and it seems like she wants to talk. So let me... <laughs> talk to her and then I'll fold my laundry. We have a few things to go over because I do have a meeting or we do have a faculty, nursing faculty meeting this afternoon. Um, so I know she probably wants to prepare for that. Hey Patricia, how you doing? Good, how are you? What up guys? So I'm done with that meeting um, with my coworker. It's about 45 minutes. Um, we went over our plan for next semester. We're supposed to present um, our plan under three different scenarios. The first scenario is that we are allowed to come back to campus um, without any sort of limitations, which is really, to be honest, likely not going to happen. The second option, um, the second option was coming back in a limited. Um, style and so we came up with a plan for that and then the third option is that we're not allowed to come back to campus at all 
And so there are a lot of things, you know, in nursing that you have to think about. You have to think about clinicals and what are we going to do for clinicals? How are we going to make out, make up that time? And then also simulation. There's a simulation piece to our courses. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen some of um, the prep that I've had to do for that. Also, how are we going to make up those hours and that time? So we just went over a quick plan and she's going to have to leave our meeting early later. Um, so she wants me to be the one to present that to the group. So yeah, as you guys can see, I did, um, since I got off the phone, went, took a shower, did a little something, something with my hair, um, not much. And then I just have this, um, when I changed my clothes, I have this little lounge set on, um, that I just like to wear at home. I've been trying to still at least kind of a little bit on most days, um, Try to look cute, try to get my life together in some way. So I'm gonna check and see what time it is. Cause if it's noon, then the test should be locking out right now for my students. Yep, it is 12.25, so I don't really need to leave my laptop open. That was actually my email, my work email notification, so. Somebody just emailed me, but in the meantime, in response to that email, and I'm gonna finally um, fold these clothes because um, it is a mess. I will, I am going to be packing here in a little bit because my husband and I are leaving town. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. My husband and I are leaving town tonight. So I'm gonna fold this laundry and then some of it I will be packing away, so. Yeah, I'll show you guys um, what I end up doing with that. So I'm gonna start packing now. I have this bag here. I'm trying to figure out whether I wanna use this bag or this one right here. It's from Fawn Design. Here, let me show it to you guys. I have it in its uh, dust bag. This one is so pretty. I actually have never used it before. <laughs> I have not used it yet, but it's so, so nice. So, so pretty. I think I want to take this out and actually use it. And I think like filling it up with clothes will help give it its shape back because it's been sitting in my closet since it came in the mail, basically. <laughs> so let me do that. And then I have my uh, long chump bag, which has like all my face stuff in it. Um, so I have a Derma E right here, hydrating cream. I have one from Lancome. I have um, some individual baby wipes or sanit, you know, to wipe yourself. <laughs> and just a cleanser, another cleanser from Lancome. So this is like all my skincare stuff essentially for while I travel. who has that testimony that knows that it's only God that's kept you. It's only because of him that you've made it this far in your life. Yeah. Well, this is a time where we can celebrate his faithfulness for always caring for us, for always making a way for us. We give God some glory this morning. Come on, let's lift this song up to him together. If you know it, sing it with us. Come on. As I look back over my life. Yeah. Thank you, God. I can see how your love has guided me. Even though I've done wrong, you never left me alone. But you forgave me, and you kept on blessing. This I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. Let me turn this off real quick. So um, I'm just about done. So that's what that looks like. There's that long chomp bag in the middle. I have, this has like my makeup in it, brushes in it, and then everything else is just closed pretty much. And then I'm gonna use this long chomp bag to put like my shoes and stuff in that. So yeah, what I've been doing is I have um, sometimes throughout my day in the background, I'll just have um, the most recent church service playing. And so that's what this is. If you guys have been following me since I was in Alabama, you guys might remember the church that I used to go to out there. That's where my membership actually still is to this day. Um, 
And so I'm just re-watching their online service, which I really enjoyed. Last week was Women's Day. Um, so um, it was like, you know, focused on women and it was Mother's Day weekend as well. So um, it just kind of was all fitting. And so um, the person or the woman who brought the sermon spoke about Proverbs 31 in a different way that I... Um, that I've heard before actually really appreciate this one. So I'm just going to re-listen to it and just listen to um, um, the praise and worship. Lord, thank you for not giving up on us. Come on, let's say that one more time. His gratefulness. His gratefulness. God, I give it to Hey, y'all. So we are getting ready to leave. I think Joshua's outside um, getting the car ready. I think he is not outside. He's gonna be mad, but I'm gonna start taking my bags and stuff out. He doesn't like for me to carry stuff. Yeah, he might be in the basement. So let me at least get my stuff outside. That way, you know, we're moving. Yeah, it is exactly 8.59 right now. Um, and we are, I look tired y'all, <laughs> we haven't even started. Um, it's gonna take us six hours to get to our destination. Heavenly Father, Lord God, thank you so very much for giving us this day. Thank you for allowing us to sit to the end of it. Let's let you be with us as we take the road. We made it, you guys. Right, babe? We made it. About to go check in now. Uh, close my sweater up. Get this one? No. No? We're going inside to go check in. Okay. Should I go do that? The birds are already chirping. <laughs> That's how you know. Um, trying to look for lights. I have some wet ones, so let's just wipe things down. To just never know. So let me do that. It is now Tuesday, what's the date? Uh, May 19th, and um, am I the only one in trouble? I've always had trouble with dates though, y'all already know that. But um, since in quarantine, it's been like to a whole new level. So as you guys can see, um, we are back at home. And so our um, trip was successful, so I'm happy about that and everything's okay. Couldn't record much over there because we were there with the mission. Um, but I will say that it was kind of really nice getting away and then seeing the culture of a different state during this time has also been interesting because in Maryland, uh, where I am, they are um, pretty serious about like, um, you know, hygiene and stuff like that. And so, um, you know, we went to a state where there's not as many cases and um, they're just just a different, you know, type of culture. Like it's it's very rare that you're walking around Maryland. You don't see people with masks, but um, out there there was mad people just without masks. So that's interesting. Yeah, it was just interesting. But yeah, so we are back now and I'm about to log into a meeting in a few minutes. And, but right now I'm just having my breakfast, my vitamins and stuff like that. Out of curiosity, what vitamins have you guys been taking during this time? Has your vitamin regimen changed at all? The only thing that I've really added right now is zinc and that helps to boost your like immune system. And as far as my diet, I've just been trying to eat like well-balanced, well-rounded diet, lots of fruits and veggies, things like that. Um, things that are like nutrient rich, if you know what I mean. That being said, <laughs> I am eating this granola with some yogurt and fruit at the bottom that I um, got from 
uh, Panera. I really, 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 really like this. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever had it, but I love a yogurt, granola and fruit. So good. So I'm just having that with some water and I'm gonna take my vitamins. And um, yeah, that's what I'm doing for breakfast. So it has the granola part separated. I'm glad that they did this because they don't always do this. Sometimes the granola is just sitting on top. And I don't like that because the granola is soggy. So there's the granola there. I am going to pick out these, um, looks like dried cranberries. Um, I know it's weird, but it's like a texture thing for me. I can't do, I can eat the dried fruit by itself, but I can't put it in something that's going to make it soggy or change the texture. It's just, I'm weird like that, y'all. And they also put honey on the bottom. So if you ever get this, make sure you mix it really good. Mm. So good. <sighs> what up, guys? So it is still Tuesday, but just later on in the day. So you can see I did a little something, something. Just a little something, something with myself. And um, I'm, back, I'm actually about to go live on YouTube right now with Miss Evelyn, Miss Evelyn Inc., a.k.a. Chef Evelyn, online and you know she's been on the channel before and so we're about to go live on her channel Ooh, so i'm just waiting for that um have all my lights set up in here that's why it's so bright in here today has been such a busy day um there's just like so much happening in life right now so much happening in life right now it's just crazy between um trying to make this house situation work there if you guys know um didn't know from my other channel my husband and i are working on trying to get into a home y'all that's all we're trying to do but um this whole situation has definitely come in and put a lot of roadblocks in our way as you can see the financial situation of this country is grim right now to say the late to say the least um and it's just a tough situation and it's affecting almost every industry and um the real estate market for sure and so just praying just praying i'm trying to be patient and keep my faith in god because things happen in this during this process even when there isn't a pandemic going on so just imagine trying to buy a home during this time um it's just presented a lot of unique challenges for us um and you know we started this project last year of building a home and it's extended all the way up until now and it's just i'm trying not to be discouraged um and if you're going through something right now you shouldn't be either you know be of good cheer um god has overcome the world and he, everything is his and you are his child and that means everything is yours too because that's your daddy you know what i'm saying so um try not to worry try not to fear taking day at a time step at a time plus just just y'all y'all <laughs> i'm not gonna get to it right now because this vlog is probably already long and i don't want to make it longer and i don't want to sit here and complain about all the woes of my life when there are people who are really going through it right now i mean really going through it right now either from job loss or losing loved ones or just severe um decrease in pay or just a big change in their like day-to-day -day life like that has been you know that has been me and that you know life looks a lot different now than it did at the beginning of the year um and so i know that i can't complain god is still good he still sits high and i am still taken care of life may not look like what i want it to look like right now but i am blessed nevertheless that's how do this. There we go. Hey! Hey, girlie! You look like so much like your sister right now. Do I really? Oh my god! What up, guys? <laughs> it is now Friday. Actually, um, May twenty. Sorry, I'm actually on my phone today. Second, and I thought I'd come back and close out this vlog. Yay, I did a vlog, a week of vlog, probably more than a week of vlogging, so I'm kind of excited. Like I said, I don't know when we'll be back, you know, for regular scheduled programming, but thought I'd stop in and let you guys know I'm alive and that I miss y'all. 
I hope you guys are well whenever it is that this video meets you and I will see you guys hopefully soon <laughs> in another one and as always God bless.